Hello my friends, it's me again, your favorite denture wearer. Guess what? Guess what? I thought the battery on my GoPro was just dead. I was wrong. It's garbage. I always have that tendency. <laughs> I'm telling you, if anybody can get a bad product in the mail, it's me. I've had so many action cameras that have just failed on me for absolutely no reason. Um, no reason at all. And, you know, I, I thought, well, I'll upgrade to a GoPro. GoPros are supposed to be fantastic. Yeah, I, w I didn't read the reviews. I should have read the reviews. Anyway, um, the thing is, I wasn't rough with that camera. I mostly did handheld vlogs with it and stuff like that. I mean, we used it out at the dunes a couple of times, but nothing rough. Um, I've only had it for like six months. And what's happening is that it won't shut off. It never has. It's always been on standby mode. Uh, something I don't like about the uh, Hero 7 GoPro Hero 7 is that it's always been on standby mode so even though I downloaded the app to the phone and I went into the app and I turned off standby mode uh, quick view is what they call it I believe or quick start or something like that where even if the camera's off all you gotta do is push the record button and it'll automatically turn on and start recording I turned all that off and Still, if I left it sitting on my desk for more than a day or two, I'd go in there and the battery would be dead. Yesterday, I left it laying on the table. I fully charged it, left it laying on the table, and I was talking to my brother, and I said, I'm going to order some different cameras. Um, I, need, I need different cameras. I need better, a better camera, you know, besides a GoPro. And there's a lot to choose from on the market, and you don't have to pay as much as you do with a GoPro. That's a fact. There's just as good a cameras out there for half the price. And if they're only going to last me six months, I think I'd rather pay half the price. Um, I'm the guy that, you know, that always gets the faulty stuff. I've gotten multiple faulty action cameras. I've had multiple pairs of faulty uh, camera glasses. I've had multiple pairs of faulty glasses. Um, <laughs> I'm that guy. I, I'm just that guy. <laughs> I've accepted that a long time ago. I'm that guy. Um, but what's funny when you think about it is I should be getting my glasses this week sometime, which I really hope that they're what I expect them to be. I mean, the frames were beautiful. The glasses fit good. They'll have to do some adjustments, you know, to fold them down behind my ears and things like that to get them to stay on my face. They have a beautiful silicone nose piece, which I like. I like the full nose piece. I don't like the little pads. They dig into my nose. I don't like that. Uh, the lenses are supposed to transition, and they're supposed to have the bifocals on them like I'm supposed to have. So, all in all, they should be good glasses. And they're warranted. So, that's a beautiful thing. On top of that... Um, you know, I've bought several big cameras in the past and always ended up with faulty big cameras until this Lumix. When I got this Lumix, uh, this has turned out to be a beautiful camera. It's, it's awesome. I love it. Uh, it's a little heavy to carry around, but I love the camera. And... It's the first one I've had that actually continued to function and does what I want it to do and doesn't screw up. And the batteries actually last as long as they say. Beautiful camera. Now, with the GoPro, I started emailing them. Well, I emailed them months ago when I realized that, that the camera wasn't shutting off. I emailed them never got back to me. When I started having trouble with it last week with the battery being dead all the time, I emailed them. They never got back to me. I emailed them three times last week. They never got back to me. And then I started reading the reviews. And apparently 
their customer service isn't all it's cracked up to be. So I was looking at some other cameras and I found some cameras that I think are going to work out really good for everything I want to do. I said it on my Bill's Life Like It or Don't channel, my biggest pet peeve when I'm doing something, for example, well for example if I'm working on something in the shop and I want to show the details of working on that, I have to continuously stop what I'm doing, move the camera, reposition it, refocus it in on something, and then start working on it again. So when I'm working on something it takes me three times as long to work on something because I'm constantly moving the camera around trying to get a better angle and a better view. When I'm riding a motorbike I can wear my camera glasses and the GoPro was great for just putting on a windshield pointing back at me. But I want more views than that. I want views from the side of the bike. You know where you're looking down the side of the bike. I want a view looking back at traffic behind me, maybe a view you know, down low where when I go around the corner you can see just how much I lean that bike around the corner and things like that. You know, make it more realistic for people. Well, the cameras that I'm looking at are half the price of a GoPro and you can get up to 10 cameras and program each camera to, to the other one so that when you push the record button on one camera, they all start recording at the same time, which I find is phenomenal. They also have external mic hookups where if I want to wear a helmet and put a camera on my helmet, I can run a microphone inside the helmet. I can do that. Um, also, I want to have multiple views when I'm driving my truck instead of just having a camera staring at me. I want a camera pointing out the front window, maybe a camera pointing at me from the side, maybe another camera pointing out the back, things like that, you know. And these cameras are half the price of a GoPro, and I've read all the reviews on them, and the reviews are fantastic. And something else I noticed is that um, with these cameras they don't have an LED screen they don't show you what you're videoing on the back they have a hundred and forty degree wide angle view you really don't all you have to do is point it you know it's you know it's capturing whatever you're pointing it at you don't need a little screen on the back to see if it's capturing what you're pointing at it has a wide angle view unlike this camera this camera has a narrow view so I have to make sure it's pointing right at my face when I'm talking uh, but these action cameras have rotatable lenses. So for example if I turn this camera sideways obviously now I'm sideways. If I stand it back up now I'm straight up and down again. With the other action cameras if I turn it sideways all I have to do is rotate the lens back up straight. I can put those cameras in any position, any angle I want and rotate the lens to make the video come out straight. That's something that nobody else has. So the connectability between cameras is awesome. The fact that they don't have an LED screen on them uh, is awesome. Uh, a video screen on them because that makes the battery last longer. Oh yeah, and they're waterproof. Uh, they're completely waterproof. Oh, and... <laughs> and... They have a nine hour battery life. One of my biggest pet peeves is batteries that die in half an hour. I mean, yeah, you can capture little moments with an action camera, you know, a five minute moment here, five minute moment there. You know, you can capture a, you know, a, a 20 minute motorcycle ride or something like that. But, you know, when I go for rides on my motorbike, <coughs> in order to capture some of the interesting things that happen to me on a motorbike, you know, traffic, just being traffic, not paying attention, um, you know, a deer running across in front of me, things like that. I need a camera that I can just turn on and record all day while I'm riding. When I go for long rides, just turn it on and record all day and then select the footage from that that I want to keep. 
that's going to make my videos a lot more epic. And, you know, when I'm doing these kind of videos, I don't necessarily have to walk around with a camera in my face. Now, it'll take some time to get as many cameras as I want, um, but I will be getting, I'm going to get a couple of them to start, and then I'll be buying more as I go along. But, you know, it would be nice to have, like, multiple cameras set up out here in the yard to where when I come out, if I want to come out and do a video, I can just come out and walk around with my external audio mic on. I'll use my external audio mic. And if I want to rake the yard while I'm talking, I can do that and you can and I can switch multiple views. You can see me from different angles and things like that. So when I'm plowing a driveway this winter with my new snow plow that was given to me for free because it wasn't working and I fixed it and now it works, you'll be able to see multiple angles of that, things like that. And I can still talk about dentures which I haven't talked about today yet, but I can still talk about dentures and things. But I want to make the channel more interesting. I know it's just absolutely bores people to death for me to just face vlog all the time. I want to improve this channel, make my videos more interesting. I also want to improve my other two channels. You know, that's it's a goal of mine to have really good channels. And I haven't really put a lot of effort into it. I haven't been able to afford it, but now that I'm working full time, I can afford to pick up some extra things that I want. And like I said, I love this camera, but it's a little heavy to carry around. A little bit heavy to carry around, but the audio is fantastic. The video quality is amazing. And this is a great face vlog camera. It really is. It's awesome for that. Not very good in low light, however. Anyway, that's it for today, my friends. I just wanted to kind of touch base with you and let you know what was going on. Uh, not a whole heck of a lot else to talk about. I hope everybody has an amazing day. I will see you in my next video. Don't forget to keep smiling, keep trying, and whatever you do, never give up.